Hey guys, Andy here. So another camera test for you today. Um, I've got the iPhone SE 2020 going up against the Xiaomi Mi Note 10. They're both almost an identical price, so I thought, oh, why not give it a whirl? Um, you might think it's unfair, you might say, well, that's an Apple camera up against the Xiaomi cheap budget camera. But they do claim it's a great camera, so I figure, okay, you know, it's one of their big selling points. It's got a 108 megapixel lens and all this sort of thing. So, all right, well, let's put them up against each other. Now, the iPhone is a bit limited. It does only have that one lens compared to the four, I think, on the on the uh, Mi Note 10. So we are just testing just regular, straight up the normal lens on the Mi Note 10. Um, we'll compare a bit of video as well to see how they match up, but we'll start off with kind of a blind taste test where I'll show you camera A versus camera B, a few different photos, and you'll choose which is which, and then I'll give the reveal, and then we'll talk a little bit about um, some of the results. Let's get on with it. So, have you picked out which you think A and B are? I can tell you now that A was the Mi Note 10 and B was the iPhone SE. Um, quite a mixed bag though, actually, because in the photos with the bright sunlight, I think the Mi Note 10 struggled with the color balance. Um, I quite like taking the bike with me for photo shoots because it's quite a good, uh, I get a lot of green and I get a lot of sort of concrete but it's nice to have other colors thrown in there. It's a little tricky because it's an odd color so it's not red, it's not orange, it's kind of in between the both of them. Um, but there was a couple of times the Mi Note 10 really struggled with that color and, and I felt the iPhone especially in the bright light um, just portrayed a more realistic uh, color. As we ventured indoors so there was a picture of the flowers that was interesting, they're both pretty good pictures actually. Uh, the iPhone, a little bit more vibrant, a little bit brighter. Then when we get to the recycle bins, I think the iPhone's is actually quite a bad picture. The Mi Note 10, you could say it's a little flatter with the colors, but I think that's much more realistic, which is quite interesting. I'm looking at that red really, I mean the red on the iPhone went kind of orangey. Um, and low light, to be fair, the sort of low light, so not dark, but the low light photo in the street, possibly the Mi Note 10 is better there than the iPhone. But then as we get to actual darkness and you mix in um, sort of headlights or the one of Barnett's fire station was quite interesting. On the Mi Note 10, the bright lights shining onto the fire station sign wiped out the text completely, but the iPhone, uh, managed to cope and you can still read the sign. And I think generally just that is a that is a better looking picture. Um, and in the complete darkness down the street, I don't know actually, that, again you can read the give way sign on the iPhone version of the photo, but it's not a bad picture the Mi Note 10 pulls out in the darkness. So it is a little bit of a mixed bag, 
I think I would give it to the iPhone SE though, it's the generally the more reliable photo. Um, interested to hear in the comments. I do love, please leave your comments. This is just, I, as much as I can, I would just, I will give you the evidence and you can make your own decision. I don't, I'm not a sort of professional expert photographer or anything like that. Um, and I often learn from you guys when you leave your comments. So I do really enjoy reading what you suggest is better in one photo or camera than on another. So please do leave your comments, um, giving your thoughts. Uh, we'll move on to some video. This time I won't worry so much about the guessing games. I'm just gonna show you uh, one and then I'll show you the other. So we're starting off sort of good conditions, outdoors. Uh, we're going to go a couple of clips at a time for each camera. The Mi Note 10 again, I just think it's struggling with that colour balance. The the bike just not, it's looking a little pinkish almost. Everything else, the detail is quite good, it's relatively smooth. A couple of sort of jerks in there, but that's generally a good image. Um, we're going to see the image stabilisation in action here, which I mean I was stomping along, not too bad. Uh, I, enough, I think the colour looks better on the bike at this point. It loses focus briefly while it focuses on the ground, but I guess the, the frame of the bike was a bit low in the image. Um, over to the iPhone SE, which does generally seem to have a smoother pan to it. The colour of the bike is definitely, I mean that's actually very accurate I would say. Um, the image looks strong and clear. I think there are a couple of drop frames in there for panning perhaps or something that making it skip, but generally a good image. Again, the colours look very good at this point. Um, the image stabilisation is, is pretty good. And uh, again, the colour of the bike looks very strong. The frame stays a bit more central, because I think this is the, on the left hand. Um, just looks a bit better. So we're coming indoors now with the Mi Note 10. And uh, you might say it's a little flat looking, but actually the detail I would say is pretty good. Uh, and then we're going to jump outdoors and you notice again you can't read the Barnet fire station sign because the light is just too bright for the for the lens to deal with um, and then as we pan around I feel like it's dropping a few frames or it's struggling a bit with the with the panning and maybe the light source at the top there giving a bit of flicker but actually that's a pretty good image I would say and now back indoors with the iPhone SE stronger colors I think a little bit more noise. Am I imagining that? I don't know. Possibly a bit of noise in there. Generally a better image, um, better, better bit of video footage. And outdoors again, you can, well, I don't know if you can quite read that, but it's a better, the sign of the Barnet Fire Station to look a bit better. And as the bus goes by, I feel, like, I don't know if it drops the frame rate to deal with the lower light, but actually that panning is, I wouldn't have said that panning is very good. Um, and the image, I guess the image is okay. I actually think that the the Mi Note 10 has a slightly better outdoor in the dark bit of video footage there. But again, really interested to hear what you've got to think. I'm going to leave it at that for the video. Um, hopefully that's enough for you. I know we've not really covered the front facing cameras as well. These these videos, they're generally a lot more work and prep and everything than, than a, even a film. No, maybe not the phone review, but uh, I don't know. I just wanted to give you something to give you an idea of what these two cameras can do. Um, do please consider heading over to patreon.com slash AAUK. I do buy all my own devices on both of these phones I just bought myself. So I'd love if you wouldn't mind contributing a little bit to help me buy more in the future, um, especially if you'd like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do check out some of the other videos. I'm going to have videos on both of those two devices, uh, both reviews, unboxings and other stuff like that. So uh, check that out. Uh, but for now, my name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.